Okay, hello, this is Tom again. Um, this is my very own product, uh, the peaceful customers. Uh, I decided to place music on this product. Then when she left, For she you. made $21.6 million giving started. speeches to Wall Street banks and other special interests. And in less than two years, secret speeches that she does not want to reveal under any circumstances to the public. I wonder why. Well, let's talk about this uh, very serious attack. Joining us, our senior political commentator, and Donald Trump supporter, Jeff Moore. Also joining us, our senior commentator, and Hillary Clinton supporter, by the way, scholars. Uh, Bakari, let me get your reaction to what we just heard from Donald Trump. Well, I thought Donald Trump's uh, attacks today were, were scandalous and salacious and slanderous in nature. Um, I thought his speech was mm -hmm. and, uh, I know that he called Hillary Clinton a world-class liar, but I think the only thing we saw today was a speech that was filled with lies. I mean, you can't divorce the, the message from the messenger. This is the same person who's talking about Hillary Clinton enriching herself in bed. This is the person who literally stole from students at Trump University. Uh, this is the same person um, who, who hoped for a housing crash so he can capitalize. Yeah, that. Um, so, so Donald Trump is not someone who can stand up there and have any moral authority to launch these attacks on Hillary Clinton. And I think the American public is going to see right through that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeffrey, yeah. Donald Trump says Hillary Clinton has, quote, spent her entire life making money for special interests. Yet he's bragged about using bankruptcy, in his words, brilliantly for being, he calls himself the king of debt. Uh, just released federal filings reveal nearly one-fifth of the Trump campaign money went to his own businesses, if you will, know, were out in the event of Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach. He would reimburse Mar-a-Lago from the campaign or Trump Tower. How do you spur on it? Well, look, what, he's a private businessman, num number one. And what he's talking about here, which is very, very powerful, having read Hillary Clinton's speech where she attacks Wall Street, this is what people think is the problem. This is a game. The Democratic Party and Hillary Clinton specifically, those speeches, $21 million worth of speeches given to, among other things, all these powerful banks and Wall Street institutions. He's not going to release the, the transcripts. They play a game with this. They, they go out there and they denounce these people and then they take their money. They do this all the time. She's certainly not the first to do this. And when she denounces the housing crisis and Donald Trump on housing, let us not forget that it was President Clinton's housing strategy that... Uh, Gretchen Morganson, who wrote the Reckless Engagement, which was the tale of all this, she was the New York Times reporter, wrote the tale of all well, this. And put your hands on the country in this news. He's accusing her of not releasing the transcripts of her paid speeches to some Wall Street firms, but Donald Trump is refusing to release his IRS, his tax returns. Every presidential candidate has done so over the past 40 years, going back to Nixon. He Zero in taxes. So, I mean, this shows that this person is just built. We learned that his campaign is, is, is built um, on a scam. It's basically just enriching and benefiting his family. But I believe that his whole empire is a power loosely. They just mm -hmm. built uh, I have to go to class. Right now, unfortunately, we're
for treatment, get tested for tuberculosis. Before starting Stellar, tell your doctor if you think you have an infection or have symptoms such as fever, sweats, chills, and muscle injuries. Always tell your doctor if you have any signs of infection.
Here I will take a pantry. I'm going to control the initiative led by Congressman John Lewis. 